All right, let's get into the trade stuff. Right. So, <clears throat> West Coast. Your throat's about, really giving you a great yeah. yeah. really tough. Do you want to go outside? Go one big this is one. really tough. Right. One so big Eli- one, right? Elliot Yo, Elliot Yo yeah. is not going to go anywhere. Like, there's a lot of talk about yeah. that rumor. Shut that one down. David Robertson, obviously chosen Brisbane, not yeah. coming to West Coast. I can understand that. They're on the cusp of great stuff. He played pretty well in the grand final. Doesn't need much explaining that one. What I thought. Uh, Tyler Brockman definitely coming to West, West Coast. Coast. They got to yeah. work that out. The trade will be for something late. Doesn't have to be something high because West Coast can walk him to the preseason draft yeah. if they need to. So that will be a pretty easily done one. I would have thought. Mm. Um, again, it'll probably wait till Wednesday. And if you don't know who Brockman is, a young uh, small forward from Hawthorne, yeah. very talented. Yeah. I like him. Big raps. Uh, Matt Flynn, GWS Ruckman. He's already at West Coast. Signed as a, an unrestricted free agent, so it didn't cost anything. The Dockers obviously will move Liam Henry to St Kilda. They want to pick in the early to mid-teens. That's probably not going to happen, but uh, St Kilda will probably give them their first pick, which is in the mid-20s, early 30s. Yeah. Then they'll have to turn that into a pick in the mid-teens using something else. Fremantle desperate to get into the teens because, Zave, yeah. it's not about this year. But you're only allowed to trade your first-round pick yeah. every second, every second year. year. So they need to get back in and make a first round pick this year. Because Melbourne have got their pick as we speak. Yeah. So they need to get back in this year so they can trade it next year. Right. So there's something cooking. Ah, That's okay. What I'm saying. So you, they need to use a first rounder this year to then sacrifice it next year yeah. for the trade. Yeah. There's a, and there's, there's some stuff bubbling away. I'll just say that. Well, give us a bit. Well, I was waiting not, for you to not, ask. You're not paid to say bubbling away. Give mm. us a bit. Okay. So my understanding is that there, there's. This could it, be a rash top here. Okay. It could be. <laughs> my understanding is there's very long term and strong interest in Logan McDonald. WA uh, yes. key forward. Yeah. Right. We so know that they're they've interested in they've been looking at key forwards for a while now. He's out of contract at the end of next year. Right. I believe that attaining that pick is part of the process of going, we need assets in case this does become a possibility. Right. So he's not it's not that he's com- coming to the Dockers at the end of next mm. year, but they have to put themselves in a place to get him. Money won't be the issue. Yeah. They have to have the draft assets to trade for him. What about another WA mm. key forward? Who? Aaron Norton. No, eight year deal. Crazy. Insane. Eight years. I was wondering wow. how you felt about that one. So keep an eye. That's a long-term one. Keep It yeah. won't happen this year. Keep an eye on Logan McDonald for the future. And I know... Why we wouldn't they talk... throw out the stumps this year? Well, I, I think it would just cost more. I don't know the assets. So, it, it, I mean, it's not impossible, but I would say it's okay. highly unlikely. Mm. Highly unlikely. All right. Sean Darcy, lastly, that conversation only happened in the last 10 days. They sat down with his family, the Dockers, and Sean Darcy. They wanted to give him some time to get over his injury stuff. And they said, all right, we want to do a deal. I think that deal is going to be a lot longer than it's being reported so far. So there was two years, there was three years. I think you're looking at somewhere in the late 20s or even 2030, possibly, that contract comes out. Gee, if, he, okay, if it goes so, ahead. So, yeah, so it could be six, seven wow. years. Yeah, he still hasn't signed it. Like, so there's still some work to do. But everyone's relatively on the same page. He's basically has to make a choice whether he's like short-term commitment, a couple of years, or do I... Is this my home forever? Well, if he's staying, he might as well sign a six-year. Well, that's what I thought too. Mm. So we'll see where that goes. A little bit in there for you. Your boy Charles going to Hawthorne. So that's oh, yeah. nice that'll little hooks. Fi- that'll be final. Bonus there for you. Okay. There <laughs> we go. There Thanks, we go. Right. Done it.